charred remains of Nuke London are the backdrop for MFL action at Plumley Stadium. It's proved again today why it's the cheating capital of the league by towing every car in the parking lot to the team-owned impound next door. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The micro-hard mutilators face off against the New London Patriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. All I remember, uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. It was a risky throw and the defense made him pay. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your... Oh, and he just made a nice cut to avoid the saw. But the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Pull out about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. He's rumbling. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And it's
It's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and three. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Third down and three. showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grant. You're right. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot It's three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! Hot one, hot two, bacon. And the quarterback is down! Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. That's an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. with the punishing hit. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. Second down and six. Oh, and he just turns an arm. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble magic. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. 
Henry. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, the ref didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. And another interception. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? The quarterback tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic and that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's Drive-Thru Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway Exit 5. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Well, at least he could set himself on fire. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites it. And that's why they call it the money shot. uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. Hiring all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. <laughs> oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Yeah, you see that move, baby? No, you did You know what? And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Steer clear of them. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this Ackman. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. 
These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Call a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I mean, a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team cheerleaders get on. <laughs> That's when small talk is really put to the test. And he breaks away. hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day, because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Look out! That's an all-out attack on the QB. He's only, if he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fu 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 fuck And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the quarterback calls a strong and passes for a touchdown. for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. Hey. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Second down in a very long. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And he finds open space. Is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And 
little known facts, orcs invented the war dance because people just in general assume everything they do is bloodthirsty and aggressive. And they are not wrong. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. Pow, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Just exploded like Humpty Dumpty. What a mess. Tell me about it. Looks like Humpty Dumpty did a little Dumpty Dumpty in his pants when he got hit. Eh, can't blame him. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> two minutes.
seconds left in the game. Hang on. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing drill. Feed five. Oh, welcome to Fumble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. You want to do some better than And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Graham, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have it intercepted, though. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, uh, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 How do you like your defensive cook? The ball carrier saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. The defense is down to their last two blitzers, so they will be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Speaking of short, it's a bad thing that didn't work out between my midget girlfriend and me. I was nuts for her. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. Hot one, hot two, hot two. This is your brain. And the ball is lateral to his and into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team. One quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, with the punishing hit. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bit. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> the 
nuked London Hatred win today's game. It was total and complete and utter domination. Now, speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Ah, oh, I'd let her walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...